Welcome back. Okay, this is an amazing story. The highly anticipated Barbie movie is hitting U.S. theaters later this month, but it won't be released in Vietnam, where the movie has been banned. In the film's trailer, Margot Robbie, who stars as Barbie, is standing next to a map that some of China's neighbors say reflects Chinese claims over contested areas of the South China Sea. Meanwhile, Warner Brothers Film Group is defending the map, calling it a childlike crayon drawing. Whimsical, they called it. Joining us now to discuss the controversy is Dean Chang. He is senior advisor to the China program at the United States Institute of Peace. And Dean, uh, the movie hasn't even premiered yet. Uh, what's the big deal here? Why is Vietnam so upset? Well, there is this major controversy over who owns the South China Sea. Uh, Vietnam, Malaysia, the Philippines, um, yeah. Brunei, all have claims, but China has the most expansive claim. It has built a lot of, uh, literally built islands out there and put troops on them. So the issue here is if you put out maps from an American filmmaker that says this is Chinese, it really undercuts Malaysian, Filipino, uh, Vietnamese claims. Right. If we could show that, that there, there we go, we see it. That's that little dotted line coming off of what is purportedly Asia. I mean, it's a, it's a whimsical sort of fantasy there. Japan, according to this map, doesn't even exist. Uh, and it really doesn't even have the same shape of that line that China claims uh, the territory in the South China Sea. So uh, it just seems to me that Warner Brothers is stuck here. They can't take away the line. They'll offend Japan. They'll offend China. Uh, if they put the line in, then they offend all those countries you mentioned, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia. So China really is exercising from very indirect influence over American culture and movies, are they not? Oh, absolutely. And it's not just the Barbie film. Um, I think it was Littlefoot, another animated movie. Very controversial because, again, the map there accepted China's claims to part of Indian territory. And when we expand the range a bit, uh, if you think about some of the space-related movies over the last few years, Gravity, uh, Sandra yeah. Bullock rides a Chinese spacecraft back to Earth. Matt Damon makes it back to Earth from uh, Mars, again, thanks to China's space program. So the Chinese have really been using Hollywood Hollywood to try and burnish their image worldwide. And the Chinese market is obviously huge for Hollywood. They're going after it. A couple of things I want to show you here. Uh, first, a Warner Brothers statement on the Barbie map controversy. It says the map in Barbie land is a whimsical, childlike crayon drawing. The doodles depict Barbie's make-believe journey from Barbie land to the real world. It was not intended to make any kind of statement. And of course, this has become a political football now. We've had Ted Cruz and of course, Marsha Blackburn, Republican senator from Tennessee. Leftist Hollywood new Barbie movie shows a map that supports communist China's territorial claims in the South China Sea. It looks like Barbie is bending to Beijing to make a quick book. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.